Blue to white lobster battle. Oh, 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 I think it's happening. Check them out, guys. Our beautiful red lobster babies are getting big. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? Let's see if I put my finger out. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to breed crayfish, care for them, and raise them. First and foremost, oh, wrong button. Open up. I'm gonna show you guys our crayfish right here. We have this beautiful white one. Hello, how you doing, Snow? And we got blue. There's blue. Well, I don't even know the names, to be honest. I always get confused. But we have a blue crayfish right here, and we have a white crayfish right here. So, this is the male. That's the female. So, I have these beautiful pots. If you guys are fans of the videos, I have these pots, and I call them the breeding pots. So I usually use these pots for the females to house their babies when they're actually having eggs. But I decided to put it for the male so he can feel safe and secure. Excuse my voice, guys. I'm getting a little sick. But yeah, look at that. Look at the colors on this. It's just crazy how sometimes the camera can't pick up the beauty of this animal right here. Look at that. So usually what I do is I grab the female, throw the female into here. Then the male goes ahead. The male grabs her, does the business. And therefore, we have possibly a mixture of blue and white, which will be the first time I've ever done this, by the way. I've done blue to blue, I've done white to white, and my buddy Wild Where the Farty has done red to red. So, let's see if I can make it happen. Blue to white lobster battle. No, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. We always talk about it's a battle because honestly, it really is. The female sometimes does not want to partake in these sexual favors with the blue. Look at how, look at how blue that thing is. Hey, buddy. You ready to get a little salsa? Now the reason for this video is you guys are constantly asking me about the babies or asking me about how to take care of them or breed them. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. I use Omega-1 shrimp pellets as the staple for all of my crayfish. Yes, I feed them that. And I use something else for the babies, which I'll show you once we head to my parents' place and check on those babies as well. Now we gotta scoop up the women and give it to a blue. Are you ready? Okay, so now it's time to disturb her and she hides right here. I think we can scoop her. Oh, 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 she's losing it. But this is the only way to successfully breed them if you want to force and crossbreed them. Here you go. Come on. Oh my gosh. This thing is insane. Come on, get in here. I think we got her. There you go. How you doing? How's everything going? Don't crawl out. No. We gotta protect you. Fall into the net. Fall into the net. No, get back. Now Slayers, we have her in my hand. I caught her right before she fell down. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful white crayfish lobsters right here. Oh yeah, amazing. So now what we do is drop this beautiful lobster in there. But first I need to remove this pot. So hold on one moment. So now that we removed the pot, it is time to have a little battle breeding. Go ahead, go, there you go. Let's see if it goes down and we can win this it together. Come on, go ahead and breed guys. Oh, crazy, oh! All righty, just gotta realize that there's male and female and we can make it happen. Why are you intimidated, bro? Can't get it, uh, can't get it up, come on. The Slayers are waiting. So guys, this is what you do. You kind of put them together several times. I think it's gonna happen. I think it might happen. But you put the female and the male several times until he courts her and obviously mating is formed. Sometimes it's not successful and you have to do it multiple times to make sure that the female catches the sperm from the male and she needs to be in a dark place and she then can lay her eggs when she feels safe. Come on. I don't even think he's gonna give it a chance. Nothing at all. It's usually pretty instant once you drop a male with a female or vice versa, but I don't think it's gonna happen today, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't foresee it happening. I think it would have already happened. Oh, 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 I think it's happening. Oh, oh, oh no. What? Seriously? That's not for you, buddy? So, um, I guess it's unsuccessful, guys, unsuccessful on here, which kind of sucks, but 
I'm gonna continue to try to breed them and hopefully I can document that and post it on YouTube so you guys can see that happening. It might be in a video that like it's randomly popping on like, hey, I got him to breed and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, I guess we're gonna have to put our beautiful white one back in her home. Any luck? Huh? Anybody? No? Oh well, try our best. All right, we'll add this back right now. There you go. And then now she's crawling up. She should be good to go. Perfect, we're gonna fix her home as well. There you go. Alrighty, there you go. Sweet, perfect. So now we have our crayfish, whoa, whoa, whoa. Darn it, messed that up. Now we have our crayfish, they're good to go, but unfortunately we were unsuccessful in the breeding. So let's check on the baby crayfish, right? Now. Look at Joey the flower horn. He is doing great, happy and healthy in this amazing little aquarium form. Look at the colors. Look at whoa. Oh, come on this side. Oh, dude, that's why I love these flower horns. They're so, they're so awesome. Let's see if he eats. I don't think he ate today. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? Let's see if I put my finger. Oh, God, that was crazy. I guess uh, you're hungry, right? If this camera would focus. All right, there you go. You're hungry. All right, cool. Let's get you some food right now. Food, ba ba. Got a little that extra redhead quick mark with that da blah, blah 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 plus super three in one character character character. So, so yeah, pretty much this flower horn is doing good. Looks like my mom's been on it with the water changes and everything. Not bad. She needs, needs to do a little scrubbing, but nothing we can't handle here. Just move that here. Go ahead and eat, buddy. Eat. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at those colors. They're starting to pop through. Nice and red, the pearls. Oh, dude, you look absolutely amazing. What a beautiful flower horn. I'm so happy that we got to rescue this guy and also give him a nice home with my parents. My mom was so happy. She takes good care of him. The fins are perfect. Everything's perfect. The colors are nice. We gotta get this film off though. I'm gonna talk to her about that. Might have to reprimand her for the nasty film on here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check on our baby crayfish. Check them out guys. Our beautiful red lobster babies are getting big. So this one's on track to be a monster. And there's another one over here. And there's a little one over here. So guys, like I was saying, you wanna make sure you have a lot of cover, a lot of shelter, many decorations in here for all your crayfish babies to hide. Excuse me guys, man, I'm really getting sick. I think I might be getting the flu. It's that time of season. So we have that one there. We have the three. There's still others in here hiding. There's many spaces. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying right there, guys. Let me move my head. Hey, there you go. There is one right there. But yeah, pretty much, guys. We have our crayfish babies right here. Oh, there's the other one. There's all five of them. Oh, there's another one back there. It's a party. See, you're seeing them all now. But yeah, pretty much that's what you do. You wanna make sure you have a tank that is very spacious for them. Give or take 15 gallons is my go-to, is my highest success rate to have a lot of babies. Look at this one. This one actually has possibly the molt of another white one, where I'm hoping it's a molt and it wasn't carnivorous and attacked the other one. But that happens in a tank like this, where there's a lot of baby crayfish living and sometimes they have to fight for survival, but not only fight for survival, um, when they molt, they're soft. Therefore, they're more susceptible to die. Look at this one just walking away, sucking on the shell right there. That shell produces a lot of calcium for them to have a very hard body. How you doing, buddy? Now, I also recommend when you have them in here, you're feeding them heavy because they can start chewing on these plants and these plants are no bueno. They are foragers, so they eat the plants in the wild, so they may think that this is actually food. But they're not big enough to actually start ripping these pieces of plants off, so I don't have to worry about that. But it's good structure. Look at them, they're like loving it. There's one right there, and this little cutie pie hiding right here. But yeah, pretty much, guys, that is what I got going on in here. This is a staple I use. I use shrimp cuisine, just like I've had a little grass shrimp or stuff like that. I use this to feed our guys. Let's see if they eat right now. A little more than a couple. I get in the flow, and they just fall down. It's raining. Raining pellets and look at them. Let them go. They catch that scent. It's very stinky. And they just come off the little log and look at them. Look at them, look at them, look at them. <laughs> it's so funny. 
I love them. They're so cute. Oh, look who came out of the shadows and started to eat. Another one. And these are perfect bite-sized pellets so they can eat multiple. Man, I can't even talk or speak today. This illness is really getting the best of me, guys. I apologize. But yeah. Look at their little crayfish lobsters. Oh, yeah. They're so funny. They're so cute. I love them. I can't wait until they get bigger. What I'm thinking about doing is actually putting them in a pond so they can grow bigger. Look at them. Oh, <laughs> They're so cute. I really enjoy these guys. And I know you guys too. There you go, guys. So if you want to raise your crayfish again, you need to have a lot of cover. This shrimp cuisine, a good food staple for them by Hikari. It's great. A lot of cover, like I was saying. Space. Heavy water changes because they do produce a lot of waste. But they are cleaners. So they'll clean up all this gravel. I recommend having possibly, this is like two inches of gravel. But probably less than two inches of gravel. And plants. If you want to have live plants... You're not gonna have live plants. They're gonna eat all the live plants. But artificial plants work. As you can see, they love climbing on it and they feel happy and healthy in there. Also, like I said, you need to make sure that you put a filter floss cover on the intakes to make sure they don't get stuck in the filter because if they get stuck in the filter, they'll make their way back here and then they'll die. So that will not be good. Well, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventure. Booyah.